Okay, now it's time to look at the shirt holster. We're actually going to look at two different variations of the shirt holster. I define a shirt holster as any sort of holster that's designed to be worn under a completely tucked in shirt. Here are the two holsters that we're going to be looking at. Number one, this is a mesh fab fabric tank top garment. The fabric itself is not very stretchy. There are two holster panels securely sewn into either armpit. Like all the shirt holsters that we'll be looking at, this one is not designed for efficient reholstering. It's pretty much a two-handed and two-eye operation getting your gun back into this thing without shooting yourself. Number two, this holster is made of a very stretchy polypropylene material. It has a more traditional t-shirt type cut and has a holster panel sewn into the weak side of the armpit over here and an extra magazine panel sewn into the strong side of the armpit. The primary benefit of this type of holster is that it provides for very deep concealment. As long as you're wearing a somewhat loose fitting and dark colored shirt over either of these holsters, it is practically impossible to detect that a person is carrying without giving them a hug. Of course, there is a downside to this. Getting at your gun can be very slow. If you're wearing a button down shirt, you'll have to unbutton at least two or three buttons to gain access to the gun holstered underneath your armpit. If you're wearing a polo shirt or a t-shirt, you'll have to untuck it and then lift it up pretty high in order to gain access. Of course, the old saying still applies, better to have a gun with difficult access than no gun at all. Okay, I think the first thing you'll notice is that this shirt is, fits awfully tight. Now, you'll want a shirt holster to fit as tight as possible. The tighter the fit, the less your gun is going to be moving around. Now, the drawback to the tight fit is comfort. If you remember from before, I mentioned that the fabric on this shirt holster was not very stretchy. So what you end up getting with a shirt that has to be very tight, but is not made of, out of very stretchy fabric, is a shirt that makes it very hard to breathe. Which is why I prefer this model over the one I am wearing. It is just as tight and secure as this one, but the polypropylene fabric is stretchy enough to allow you to breathe in total comfort. Let's go to the demonstration and see just how well these things work. Okay, we're back here in the demonstration lab, and I still have the, the shirt holster, the white shirt holster on. That's the one that is uh, with a non-stretchy fabric. It fits a little bit tight, and I can tell you right now, it's actually... Uh, it's a little bit, I mean, it's actually not hard to breathe, but, but it's, it's very, it's very tight and it's really not comfortable at all. So first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to show you um, essentially roughly what you'd have to go through to actually access the weapon. So here it is. Right now the gun's here. And actually before we do that, just look at how well this, this uh, holster system does conceal the gun. I mean, you really can't tell at all that I'm carrying a 45 Auto Glock 36 underneath my armpit. And furthermore, furthermore, remember before I mentioned about how I thought that the retention strap was unnecessary. Well, look at where the gun sits. I mean, here's the gun right here. If I really stretch the shirt, you can see the outline. I mean, it's literally right underneath my armpit. There's no way that gun's going to come out. So I really think that that retention strap is unnecessary. So as far as getting access to the gun, you know, unless you're Hulk Hogan and you're going to just rip your shirt apart, which who knows, maybe you would, but you're probably not going to practice that. You're going to have to quickly unbutton at least two buttons Go in here, undo the retention strap, probably lift your arm up high so as not to cover your arm as you draw the weapon, bring it out here, now there, now you're on target. So that certainly is not what I would consider a fast draw. Okay, now I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to have to go through to reholster this weapon. And you really can't do it with your shirt on uh, to be safe at all. So quickly I'm going to remove my shirt. Bear with me here because my microphone is going to have to be adjusted slightly. So again, this is that white shirt holster that I had on before. And if you can hear those retention straps crackling, but that's what's making all that noise. He's another reason to get rid of these crazy things. Okay, so reholstering of the weapon. I guess first of all, I will confirm that it is unloaded. Empty magazine, empty magazine well, empty chamber. Nonetheless, I still don't want to point the gun at me. So to holster this weapon, here you can see the holster patch right here. The retention strap, it's kind of pushed back. You want to keep that up. You're going to stick your thumb right in here, bring the weapon up. There it was. I almost pointed the gun right at my thumb. It's very difficult to do this. And of course, on this guy, you're going to put that retention strap on. I didn't think that was all that simple. Okay, let's take a look at the other holster. Okay, I'm back in the demonstration studio with the black polypropylene holster shirt on. 
I had to change the background because you really couldn't see the black shirt with the black background. Now you really can't tell, but I actually do have my Glock 36 in this gun, in this holster right now. And to put this one back in, this, now this one has the double layer elastic holster. And because it rides up a little higher in your armpit, you really don't need, you really don't need to have a retention strap. The gun stays put really nicely. Now on the weak side, I'm sorry, on the strong side, there's actually a place for up to three, three extra magazines. Here's one of my magazines. And I just have one in there for now. So um, I personally prefer this holster quite a bit more than the white one. Uh, this material uh, certainly does look a lot tighter on me than the other shirt, but it's actually a lot more comfortable because it's very flexible and at the same time it really holds the gun in place. You know, you can move around and it's solid in there. So just to prove how well this concealment works, I'll just throw this shirt back on. Of course this shirt also does come in white, so if you're not used to wearing black undershirts, you're okay there. Hopefully this microphone will still work. Okay, so here you go. The black holster t-shirt, which I prefer, I have on right now, with a nice loose fitting, somewhat dark, dark color over shirt. This is just your typical Oxford shirt. Of course, this is a concealed carry magazine shirt. And um, as you can tell, it it um, hides the gun very well, very deep concealment. Of course, it does have the problem of the uh, relatively so slow access, but nonetheless, this does uh, provide effective deep concealment.